Welcome back to Mrs. P. What is for tea? Um, we nipped into Marks and Spencers. We've actually got an Asda order coming this week, but the some items, one that I forgot, or two had been substituted, or were not available. So, what did we get in M&S? So, we've got an M&S in our town, but it's just a food store. So, we picked up three pints of milk for Mr. P, semi-skimmed. They have substituted this for two, two pints, um, which is too big for Mr. P's fridge and his lorry. So, we picked up three of the single pints. Um, I forgot to get in biscuits, so we got a pack of the rich tea. This is what he likes, got a pack of rich tea. Um, my apples, they didn't have, so I got some, what are these called? Kissabelle apples. They look nice and red and crunchy. I like a crunchy apple on my morning break at work, so apples. The salted butter, I love this. I, lo I, I do like the bar butter from costco but um it's just not been in but i do like this this salted spreadable one from marks and spencer so we got one of those we also got ourselves the afternoon cake sexic selection so you get two scones two vanilla slices and two shoe buns and we will have those over the weekend with a cup of tea. Lovely. Picked up a loaf. I like the bread from Marks and Spencers because I just think it lasts all week because I don't eat a huge amount of bread when I'm on my own. I do like bread and I like a sandwich for work if I'm working till 6.30, but I don't eat, eat a huge amount, but this will, this will be fresh next Friday without an absolute doubt, this will be fresh. So a loaf of the farmhouse white. And we thought we would try their Chinese takeaway box. Now, this is £12.50. Um, takeaway for two. Chinese style egg fried rice, sweet and sour chicken, beef and black bean sauce, battered chicken breast pieces with a sweet chilli sauce, vegetable chow mein and four spring rolls. Now, I think for £12.50, that's a cheap takeaway. I don't know about you. So we are going to give this a try and it will be on the channel, not this Wednesday, probably the following. We'll give you our verdict, see what we think of it. But we thought at £12.50 that it was it was worth a go. So that little lot there. Oh, and Mr P got two pear ciders. He loves a pear cider. We can't seem to get it in our town at all. So we got two pear ciders, going to bob them in the fridge. So that was £36. But... A few nice bits, we've got a takeaway, we've got cakes for a cup of tea, so welcome to our weekend, um, so I shall, back with, I shall be back with you in the wink of an eye with the Asda shop. So welcome back, so what seems like two minutes flat to you is actually about four hours. So, Asda order. A big as to order. Um, we're starting to stock up things for Christmas. Um, so yeah, we've got a huge as order, 125-ish pounds, I think. Um, one substitution, which was Mr. P's milk, but we covered that in the last video. I bought one pint. So what did we get? Um, I got three bags of plain flour. I I, th I'd, I need to get that pantry sorted out. Um, I thought I'd got flour. I'd got no plain flour at all. So I've got three bags of plain flour because I'm going to make cheese pin wheels this weekend. Um, cheese pin wheels. A bit like a cinnamon swirl, but not cinnamon at all. But with cheese and onion and bacon. Bacon out the freezer, Mr P. Yeah. Um. So I've got three bags of plain flour. I'll use probably a bag and a half for that. Um, for Mr P for yogurts. I've got a little bit of a selection because we had none. So I got the... These are the um, Muller Lights. Mandarin, peach and pineapple, mango and passion fruit. He likes all of those. And also I got the 
um, the Muller Light with dark chocolate sprinkles. And those are caramel, vanilla and orange. He likes all of those. So a bit of a change. And a couple of other Muller Lights. They've got some special ones. These are 77 calories a pot. Chocolate orange, obviously the law, as you know. And milk chocolate. Rotten date on them, 28th. Justin, 28th. Okay. What have I got on those? Oh, and I've got 18th of December on the big packs and 11th of December, so that's fine. Just have to eat those first. So, um, I picked up some paracetamol, like an always on the list. And I got some of these foil trays. Um, I'm doing, as I say, the savoury rolls. I will probably, although these are not as big as... As I, was whole, as I was thinking, but I could get two or three in each. I'm going to cook my savoury rolls in these and it makes it much easier for Mr B taking to work, for me taking to work. I'm not mad about the savoury rolls, so probably not something I would eat, but there we go, got those. So, moving on. Um, Meat-wise, I got... Cooked ham for the babies. And I like that actually in a sandwich. I got dried ham for Mr. P. I got top side of beef for Mr. P. And I got the herby turkey and stuffing. Um, these were on the two for three pound offer. So three packs for Mr. P, one pack for at home. Um, fruit and veg. I got the crunchy salad, day to 27th of November, which is fine for me. And that is to go with my coronation chicken. Um, mushrooms. We were going to do a Bolognese big cook, but I don't think we've got room in the freezer, but the salt things will get used in this house. I have got the cauliflower, broccoli and carrot mix. And the Brussels sprouts. Bag of carrots, always good in this house, I love carrots, so bag of carrots. I got, oh god they're bad, bag of mixed peppers but that's bad so I shall be, um, I shall be asking for a refund on those. Um, and I got three onions, we really need to get to Costco but I don't know when we're going to get to all if I'm honest. So moving along. Um, salted butter. Um, I always find that the cube that the this kind of butter is better for baking. Mister Mister P likes this for work. So, um, two hundred and fifty grams salted butter. Got two of those, but we did buy the Marks and Spencers butter, didn't we? At home. Um, cheese. I'm doing the pinwheels. So I got two of the extra mature. Um, what weight is this? Four hundred grams. Got two of those. And I got one of the Red Leicester. Once again, I'll put the price on the screen. Um, I like a wee bit of the red mixed through when I'm doing anything like this. As I say, I personally am not mad about it at all. But it's something Mr P likes, so that's what we're doing this week. Um, for work, we got Mr P his couscous, although they've substituted it with a roasted pepper, but he says that's fine. And a tub of potato salad. He likes the two together, but each to the own. I have treated Mr P to some of the little Marmite cheese shapes. I mean, this, this must be the most expensive way to buy cheese ever, but it's just a wee treat for him. Um, as far as the... I think it's two for three pound on the snacks. I got um, pepperoni parcels, which I think pepperoni pizza parcels, they're dated the 30th of November. I got beef and vegetable pasties, 2nd of December, so they'll actually do them next week. Same with the pork and mini pork and pickled pies, those are the 2nd of December. I've got a coronation chicken to go with my salad. That is a really quick dinner or lunch for me. I really like it. 
So that is lovely. And I also got the savoury mini eggs. So that's the 26th of November. So you'll have to watch his dates with what he decides to take when. Um, bread wise, we got the, we got Mr P the carb, carb light wraps. He likes these. And I got the Warburton's Thins. I got a half and half. And I got a whole meal or soft brown. So that's what Mr P's got sandwiches for work. Um, I've also got a Allinson's loaf. I love Allinson's bread. It's my favourite for sandwiches. When's that dated? 28th of November. Great date on that. So got that. Um, canned, etc. Um, Mr P likes a wee can of beans or, or he particularly likes the microwavable ones but they were so expensive in Asda but their own, I think these were about 23 pence that is enough beans for Mr P um, for, I don't know, to have with like a savoury pinwheel or his pasty, something like that that's enough beans for a serving for one meal for him and to open a big tin one, it's too much, and two, he's got nowhere to store it. So we buy the smaller tins. So I think these were, I think they were 21 or 23 pence, but I'll put the price on the on the screen. I also got two cans of pe sliced pineapple in juice. I love ham and pineapple. And there seems to be a national shortage of pineapple. Well, certainly where we are. So I picked up two cans of that, four on the shelf. I think I've got one on the shelf at the moment. Um, a passata, um, because we were going to do a big cook of pasta sauce. We may still do it because I've got frozen free flow mince. So if we decide to do it, the mince is ready. If we decide not to do it, the mince can stay where it is. And I also, for some unknown reason, got six cans, uh, four cans of chopped tomatoes. I've just looked on the shelf. I've got 12 up there, see? So it comes with having a disorganised pantry. You've got no idea what you've got. For Mr Muffin. Two packs of the cat milk. Mr Muffin loves cat milk. Got two packs of that. Uh, milk wise, they substituted Mr P's single pints for two pints of semi-skimmed. But somebody in the family will use this, so I'm not worried. But I've got two of those. And I have got... One two pint of whole milk for my porridge um, in the week. Lovely. Um, the Mr P loves these, the flavoured waters. So I got the still strawberry and the still black currant. I think they're designed for children. So just right for Mr P. Boy. I think these are about two pound for eight. But he does like them. Potatoes, I got red. For roast and bacon potatoes for me in the week. These make obviously a great baked potato, goes without, but also make they make great chips or wedges in the air fryer. I do like baked potatoes for that. Um for stock for Christmas, there was an offer, I think it was three for twenty-four on I'm not sure which way to go. Oh, there we go. On the 24 packs of pop. So I got caffeine free Pepsi, caffeine free Pepsi, R White's lemonade, and caffeine free Coke Zero. Uh, Mr. P's not supposed to have caffeine. There's another tale. So, but this will just be easier than something we've got to be looking for. You can't always get the caffeine free in Aldi. So as I say, there were three cases of 24 for 24 pounds. What does that make it? About 33 pence a can, something like that. Would you pay for a can of caffeine free on the road, mate? Oh, Sarah's at the window. For the life out of my neighbours at the window. Hey? Over a quid. Over a pound. One eighty out of the machine. Depends where you go. Okay, and for the mince pie challenge, yes, indeed, it rumbles on. Uh, we have got Asda's basic min mince pies. 
pack of six. And he's got the brown butter flavour and rum mince pies, the deluxe ones. As another choice. And that is a mince pie challenge for this, this, um, yeah, for this year. What's in the lead for the mince pie challenge, Mr. P? Co-op. Co-op's still in the lead, so but we haven't tried Asda yet. So thank you very much for joining me. I'd love you to click the subscribe button. And if you're a new subscriber, can you put it in the comments so that I can welcome you into the community? And we'll be back on Wednesday where we're making cinnamon rolls, uh, sourdough cinnamon rolls. Thank you so much for joining me and I will speak to you soon.